Okay, as I mentioned, I had to brief the four stars and Secretary of the Air Force and, and a bunch of other significant uh, people in the Air Force. And as I read through it, with about 30 minutes maybe to go, uh, before the brief, I didn't have a lot of prep time. I decided to quickly use uh, best case, worst case, and most likely scenario. So as I went through the intel as we knew it uh, on the ground, I said the best case scenario, which at that time would be the Iraqi military with the support of the U.S. would quickly repel uh, the ISIS and send them back into Syria. Uh, the worst case would ISIS would uh, envelop Baghdad and infiltrate all the way down to the Shia areas in southern Iraq. And it would be a, an Iraqi type of insurgency where it would take a long time, a lot of effort to root them out. And, and then the most likely uh, scenario, which I briefed, was that they will likely hold territory in, in the north, consolidate their gains, and the U.S. military would have to lead uh, the Iraqi military in pushing them back into Syria. And then finally, what type of products? If your customer, your general, your boss, your business boss in the private sector is asking you for a product, are they asking you for a 200-page product? Most likely not. Are they ask you for a briefing. Do they want a one-pager? Do they want talking points? Do they want paragraphs? You have to get all that information up front. For example, a friend of mine runs the Royal Caribbean Intelligence. Before their ports, uh, before the ships go into ports, they get a threat briefing uh, sent to them uh, via email. It's a one-pager of here's the changes since the ship last went to the port. You know, criminal activities in the rise at this sector. Um, watch out for theft over here. And you really have to know what your customers want at that time. So for the next slide, uh, dissemination, the five W's. Who needs to see it? Uh, what do they need to see? What format? And where does it go? Are you just emailing it to them? You're providing it to them on PowerPoint or SharePoint? You're just going to uh, uh, store it forever? I always like to put the file location in the very bottom of my Intel products because, say, six months from now, somebody picks it up and goes, man, I like that. Where was that? I'd like this updated. You'll know exactly where that was stored. And when do they want it? Uh, I remember our boss here in, in Miami at FBI says, hey, I'd like a, a list of where all these types of businesses are, are located. And we got it to him within an hour. And he said, oh, I, I just meant by next week. But my thought process is, was to let him know that we can turn that information around quickly and be responsive to the decision maker. And why do they need to see it? it it's sometimes awkward to say, hey, uh, why do you want that information? You really don't want to frame it like that. But it does help to know why they want it. So maybe you could provide a better product. I'll give you an example. Our uh, boss was going to see the uh, chief of, uh, I think it was the Hollywood Police Department. So I said, hey, listen, we could provide you stats on the Uniform Crime Report on whether their murder rate, crime rate's gone up over the last five, ten years or whether it's gone down. Why are you going to see this boss? You know, why, are you going to, why are you going to see this person? He said, well, it's just a quick liaison trip to say, hi, I'm new to the area. But we were able to provide that background information as well as different case information that we have working in uh, the, P the Hollywood Police Department's district so when the boss went to brief him, instead of him just saying, hi, how you doing? Here's, here's me. He could say, hey, listen, we're currently working 17 cases in your area, three with gangs, five with money laundering, one with terrorism, whatever that happened to be. And uh, we noticed that your crime rate has ticked up in the last three years. What can we do to help? So in a nutshell, that's the uh, intelligence cycle. I uh, just wanted to do this rather quickly. If you wouldn't mind uh, sending me any questions that you might have, and we'll try this uh, throughout the course. Thanks.